Well, we're not having a children's chancel chat today, so the adults are going to get one. <laughs> so, in the Hebrew scriptures, there are four major events that the scriptures talk about all the time. The first one is in Genesis, when God decides to bless Abraham and his family and give his descendants many. The second event is in the book of Exodus, and following those books, about how God brought the Hebrew people out of slavery and brought them to the promised land after they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. The third event happened in 1st and 2nd Samuel, where God decides to bless David as the king of Israel, and he makes the nation mighty. And the fourth event happens in 2nd Kings, where in 587 BCE, Jerusalem is conquered by the emperor Nebuchadnezzar, and the city is razed and the temple is destroyed and many of the inhabitants are taken into exile into Babylon. The book of Daniel takes place during that exile, and that's what you heard today from our scripture reading. It's one of those kind of books that was written probably about 400 years later when once again the people of Israel are being persecuted, this time by the Greeks. And so the writers look back to another time when they're under persecution because of their faith, and they share the story of standing up for your faith and being true to God no matter what. And so today, what we hear is, we hear about four young men who were in exile but were raised up by the people of Babylon to become part of the governmental system. And there's two times that because of their faith, they are tested. And today, we hear one of those tests. We hear, well, Daniel has risen to be highly regarded by the king. But because of his faith, the other people in government want to take advantage of him and to use his faith against him. And that's what our story is about today. So, we want to get our young people up here to tell us the story of how Daniel lived his faith and stayed true to God. <laughs> 